Hey Shoreline Kids, welcome back for story time. Today we're reading a story called Lost and Found. Once there was a boy who found a penguin at his door. The boy didn't know where it had come from, but it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad and the boy thought he must be lost. So the boy decided to help the penguin find his way home. He checked in the lost and found office, but no one was missing a penguin. He asked some birds if they knew where the penguin came from, but they ignored him. Some birds are just like that. The boy asked his duck, but the duck floated away. He didn't know either. That night, the boy couldn't sleep for, for disappointment. He wanted to help the penguin, but he wasn't sure how. The next morning, he discovered that penguins come from the South Pole. But now, how could he get there? He ran down the harbor and asked a big ship to take them to the South Pole. But his voice was much too small to be heard over the ship's horn. Together, the boy decided he had the penguin, he and the penguin would row to the South Pole. The boy took his rowboat and he tested it for size and strength. He told stories to the penguin to help pass the time. Then they packed everything that they would need and pushed the rowboat out to sea. They rowed south for many days and many nights. There were lots of time for stories and the penguin listened to every single one. So the boy would always tell another. They floated through good weather and bad weather when the waves were as big as the mountains until they finally came to the South Pole. The boy was delighted, but the penguin said nothing. Suddenly, it looked sad again as the boy helped it off the boat. Then the boy said goodbye and floated away when he looked back, the penguin is still there, but it looked sadder than ever. It felt so strange for the boy to be on his own. There was no point in telling stories now because there was no one to listen except for the wind and the waves. Instead, he just thought. And the more he thought, the more he realized he had made a big mistake. The penguin hadn't been lost it had just been lonely. Quickly, he turned the boat around and rowed back to the South Pole as fast as he could. At last, he reached the pole again, but where was the penguin? The boy searched and searched, but he was nowhere to be found. Sadly, the boy set off for home. But then, the boy saw something in the water ahead of him. Closer and closer he got, until he could see the penguin. And so the boy and his friend went home together, talking of wonderful things along the way. The end. What a great story. Well, thank you for joining me and we'll see you next time.